It's still the beginning of the new year. In the Thai calendar, it's 2553. In the American calendar, it's 2010. Or the universal calendar, they call it, but it's, it's still it's a different convention. But the idea is that it's the same. It's a new year. And it's important that you see the new year as an opportunity, a new opportunity to develop goodness that you haven't developed in the past. What you want to maintain, though, is your knowledge of the old principles that don't change. It's not the case that what used to be skillful is now going to be unskillful or vice versa. The principle is what's skillful stays the same regardless of time. This is why they say the Buddha's teachings are timeless. What was right view back in the Buddha's time is still right view now. What was right resolve all the way down through right concentration, all these things don't change. And so we're going to use that knowledge and apply it to the present moment. See what And what's new is different opportunities to develop what's good, different opportunities to develop what's skillful. In some cases we have fewer limitations than we had in the past, in other cases we have more. As you get older, the body begins to deteriorate. Some of the things you used to be able to do, you couldn't do. On the other hand, maybe we have more wealth, maybe we have more knowledge, more insight. Okay, those are things with limitations are getting gradually removed. So work on removing the limitations that you can. As for the limitations of the body, you learn how to make the most of what you've got to find some ways that you can release the limitations from the mind, to free the mind from its old attachments, to free it from its old ways of placing boundaries on itself, preventing itself from doing good. So as we look at the new year, remember some things are still the same and other things are new. Take advantage of what's new and hold on to the good from what's what we remember from the past, what we learned from the past. This is an important principle. It is possible to learn the basic principles of what's right and what's wrong by observing them in our actions. It's not that the principles are going to change from moment to moment. It's just the different moments offer different opportunities for applying those principles so we can find the happiness we want.